In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Someone once told me that Highland Cathedral, the music the pipers were playing as we uh, came in today, it was inspired by God. And I certainly agree. It's a fantastic, beautiful piece of music written specifically for uh, the bagpipe. And so I'm very pleased that that was our entrance hymn. As we uh, prepare to start today, it's a joyous day to celebrate 
men and women in blue, but it's a sad day because two of the men who we would have loved to have seen with us today are here in spirit, but not in body. Let's take a moment of silence out of respect for officers Dia and Stalker. Heavenly Father, from the time that Cain decided to do something to Abel, we have struggled to find order and to bring peace to a very troubled world. We give you thanks for the men and women in our community and in the communities around us and indeed all around the world who are doing their best to assure order and to bring peace. We express our sorrow for our own failures to do so in our lives and in our families and in our communities. We express our sorrow and ask for your mercy. For the church, may we proclaim the gospel to all we meet, just as Jesus commanded his disciple. Lord Jesus, you draw sinners to your merciful love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show us the way to eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again to bring salvation to your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about whom you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, at this time, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men, dressed in white garments, stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking up at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm today is God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amidst shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blasts, Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nation, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, 
far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Today's Blue Mass is a national event. It's taking place all across the United States. This year, it is a much subdued celebration. As a matter of fact, I was out and about earlier this week, and uh, someone asked me, why are you doing a Blue Mass when they were having all these issues with our police? And without batting an eyelash, I said, because we care. If we truly are to have dedicated, wonderful, peacekeeping peacekeepers, they need to know that we care about them, we support them, we pray for them. And so, yes, I'm having a blue mass. And I'm very proud and pleased to see the numbers of our officers who have joined us for today's celebration. Because prayer, regardless of what faith we belong to, we Catholics like to pray as we pray here, and you, I think everybody is familiar with our celebration of the Mass. That's the way we pray. But prayer is common to everybody. The Protestants pray their way, the Jews pray their way, the Muslims pray their way, the Sikhs pray their way, the Hindus pray their way, the Shintus pray their way, and even people who have not yet been summoned by God to some particular faith community know what it means to pray. 
And so we gather today for our Blue Mass to pray. Here in Toledo, our Blue Mass is in a very particular way to pray for two officers who gave their lives so that the rest of us can feel safe and comfortable in our homes, on our streets, and out at those places we enjoy visiting to shop or dine. Our thankfulness, and that's what Eucharist means, and when every time we get together as Catholics, we are giving thanks to God for what we see God having done for us. In our faith and the Catholic Church, our God gave us the gift of his life, the death of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And today we celebrate his return to heaven to be with the God the Father. And in that moment of returning to his heavenly Father, Jesus asks us to do as he did. And so we look at that reality of what basically did Jesus ask us to do? I don't think he asked any of us to climb up on a cross and die. I'm not looking forward to having to do that. I don't think he wants me to uh, uh, run around and uh, uh, have a bunch of apostles and we race all over the countryside uh, preaching on street corners and such. He wants me in this building doing what I do, praying giving thanks. And that reality comes out of what the, the Jewish community sees as the great commandment. Love God with your whole heart, your whole soul, your whole mind, and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. And isn't that what comes, summons all of our peacekeepers to do what they're doing is love of neighbor. And that reality deserves our support. It deserves our concern and our care and our prayer. We are here today too because our police force here in Toledo uh, lost two men this last year. We are memorializing them up at the front of our sanctuary today. A reminder that love of neighbor isn't always easy. It isn't always peaches and cream and turning a siren on and racing down the street with some blue lights flashing. It's to lay down one's life for one's friends. And as long as we can make sure that every one of our police officers, our sheriff's deputies, all of those people who are charged with keeping us safe, understand that we are their friends, we have nothing to worry about. But if we lose sight of that important reality, that we are all friends and willing to lay down our lives for one another, we run the risk of alienating both a community and its police force. And so that's why we're here. That's why we love what we're doing and why we care about the people for whom we do it. We pray for the repose of the souls of Officer Dia and Officer... St they weren't members of my parish. But should I forget them because of that and say, no, I want nothing to do with them? Of course not. They are part of our, my community. They are part of those people who every day are willing to risk everything. And thank God that they are. Thank God that they do. Thank God for these two men and for their families. You know, as I was standing in the back and watching the, the police come in, and there's families. I think sometimes we have no idea that policemen and policewomen have husbands and wives and children. That they have families who, I imagine what the stress must be like when mom or dad, husband or wife, goes out on the street 
and we just keep our fingers crossed and pray to God that they can come home safely. That's what we do here. And not just at the Blue Mass. We remember our police officers all the time. Over at the Policeman Shrine, we keep track not only of those who risk their lives here in Toledo, but all over the country. I don't know, has anyone ever been to the uh, police memorial in Washington? I was thinking about that the other day. It's right outside the um, uh, building museum at one of the exits on the metro. And as you go through there, you see all these names of every police officer since the beginning of the United States who's been killed in action. And, you know, that's where the, the presidents like to have their big uh, uh, ball when they get elected and they all go in there. And I wonder how many of them walk through that. I doubt that they do. But presidents of the United States aren't allowed to take the metro. They have to come in the back door because of security reasons. And guess who's there securing them? Police officers. If you're ever in Washington, go to that memorial. You'll see some names from Toledo there, uh, far too many names. You'll see many others from all around the United States. And give thanks for what they did for us, for what these men and women continue to do for us. As I said at the beginning of, of today's Mass, we human beings can be horribly cruel to one another. Cain and Abel, the story of the first murder. And after that, the Old Testament and so many scriptures from so many religions are full of the violence the humans do to one another. We can see it being played out on the streets of Jerusalem, the very holiest of cities where Jesus himself walked, where Mohammed is venerated in a great mosque where the Jews go to encounter what remains of the great temple, three great religions, and we see the violence being done. And that's why we're here, praying that that stops because someone is willing to lay down his or her life for their friends. Friends, we welcome you all. We pray for you. We support you and your families. And we hope that in the years to come, we will not have to have a similar memorial to this. Although we know in the reality of human history, it will happen again. We pray that it will be in the far distant future. We pray for peace. It's why we call these men and women peacekeepers, peace officers. We're glad you came to join us today and know that 24 seven, this parish holds you in our prayers and asks God to keep you as safe as you keep us. Let's pray together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And today's gospel reminded that uh, the disciples, after Jesus ascended into heaven, went out and preached everywhere. The task of preaching is ours. And the best way we can preach is to be aware of the needs of the world around us and pray. For the church, we may, we, may we proclaim the gospel to all we meet, just as Jesus commanded his disciples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, may we work together to build unity, bringing all people into a world that values justice, life, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the men and women who serve our community in law enforcement, may you be protected the way you protect us and comforted when you need it the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Officer Anthony Dia, Officer Brandon Stalker, and all the men and women who have given their lives in service, may your souls delight in your eternal reward in heaven. And may your families and law enforcement brothers and sisters find comfort in your love and protection of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Hannah Ford and Mitchell Feast, married here on Saturday, may you have a life together in Christ filled with joy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all suffering from COVID-19, may they be healed by the Holy Spirit and may the vaccines bring immunity and protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catherine Andrews and Marty Williams, may God's loving arms be wrapped tightly around them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Well, loving and almighty God, we share with you our concerns out of our love for our brothers and sisters. We pray that in your love for us, you'll answer them in Jesus Christ, our Lord.
my sisters and brothers, pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, we pray, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and patroness of our sister parish, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Michael, the patron of police officers, with St. Patrick, our own patron, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Just a word for our guests on the distribution of the Eucharist. Uh, during the pandemic, we are only doing it at the front of the two side aisles. So those in the center come out, come at the side and go back down the center. And those who are in the side will 
but there are two stations there for whichever direction you're going in. Um, the Eucharist is our sign of our belief in the Catholic community, uh, and so it is obviously closed, uh, because if you're not Catholic, you don't believe what we believe. We hope that one day that will be resolved, and we can all share at the table of the Lord.
message was unspoken, but the truth and silence lies. So I gaze upon your vision, and the truth I try to find. Here I stand with John the teacher, and with Joseph at your side. And I see the Lamb of God on the altar glorified. Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles cease as we Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. We only have one announcement today, and it is sweet. Um, as you know, our theme has been for coming back to Mass, how sweet it is to come home. So in honor of uh, our guests today, we'd like to invite everyone to stop in the back on this side, and we have some delicious cookies to share with everyone. So have a wonderful day. Good morning. My name is uh, Ronald Parton. I'm a retired lieutenant from the Toledo Police Department. And I'm going to be reading the names of the Toledo Police officers 
that lost their lives in the line of duty. John Hassett. James Boyle. Harry Smith. Albert Schultz. Kaiser Bartecki. Adolf Reimer. Louis Jaswicki. William Bather. George Zaff. Harry Dahl. Harold Mossberger. William Cress. Charles McGuire. William Reed. Fritz Bacon. William Martin. William Julert. Walter Mullen. George Zentera. Edward Obrist. Edward Kime. Harvey O'Neill. Fred Diesel. John McCarthy. Harold Stevens. Albert Fidel. Walter Boyle. Donald Brown. William Miscannon. Keith Dressel. Anthony Dia, who we lost this past July. And Brandon Stalker, who we lost in January. Additionally, the Tulsa Police Department lost two active duty officers this past year to medical issues, and I want to recognize them. Sergeant John Palmer, at the time of his passing, was in field operations. And Officer Kevin Dumas, who was an instructor at the academy. This past year has been very difficult for the Tulsa Police officers and their families. So please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. At the end of the ceremony, um, can any, all the officers and the retirees meet on the steps for our picture? And as usual, I've got a great scheme to get those police officers out there. Because we always ask them to go out there by this door on this, this side of the church. And because of the crush of everybody trying to say hi and, and all the rest of that, it takes forever to get them out there. However, I've got a scheme. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's a couple of the caps up here for some of the officers. Uh, we'd like to bless the men and the women who wear those. If I could ask all of the uniformed police officers to join me up here in the altar space, uh, kind of paying respects to officers Dia and Stalker, and uh, bring your, your cap up here, and I'll give you a special blessing to keep you hopefully safe. So come on up here, and then you process out with us, and then you're there by the cab, get your picture taken. <laughs>
Oh, nothing. Dylan over here. By the way, side. when we gather on the steps, that's to the left doors to me, right Come doors to you. Way. That includes all shy. of our retirees. It also includes any of the parents of our fallen. Monsignor, it's all yours. That's my thanks to the Dia family for joining us today. Uh, the stalkers obviously were invited, but it's still too much too close. And uh, the pain and the hurt is still too deep. And so they felt it would be emotionally uh, just too much for them to be here today. So please do uh, keep that family in your prayers as well. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord God, we invoke your blessing of protection upon all these men and women who so often risk their lives so that we might be safe, secure in our homes, in traveling through our communities. We pray that you watch over them always and bring them home safely to their families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace keeping our safety forces in your prayers. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl through the world for the ruin of souls Amen.
night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with cold. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God